Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel and in this video we will see how we can access CentOS server from a web browser from any devices. So let's see what is the process. So I will just uh, install CentOS 8 and that was really good, the recent version of CentOS and uh, for that I found uh, the cockpit is by default installed in this uh, server and uh, cockpit if you don't have install it's very easy to install that I mean I will show you what are the commands here here you can see that you can use the DNF install cockpit and the interesting thing is in CentOS 8 uh, this DNF is already there so you can run using yum install cockpit or dnf install cockpit that is very easy to install so first let's just see the practical and uh, commands are you can find in the description of this video or it's very easy it's, it's nothing there but the good thing is we want to see practical how we can see send to us uh, inside our web browser so here you can see right now nothing is there so what are the things that we need to set it up let's just go inside our send to us so i have a send to us 8 running in my virtual machine and here um, first thing is you need to check the ip address what ip you are on so go to your wired setting and uh, when you see this wired then go to this gear icon and there you can see this ip address there and also you can use in terminal if config to see the IP address of your machine but it's up to you which one you prefer so 0 0.163 is the IP address of my machine and cockpit will run on port 1990 so here we go here we see that this is the one but right now the cockpit is not running so that's why we are not seeing anything or probably you don't have a cockpit installed in your CentOS so let's just go and see the process of installation let's just close this, close this. so now let's just start our terminal and then this terminal first of all you need a root access so let us go inside root and then you can uh, first check whether you have a cockpit install or not so for that what you can use is you can use system ctl status cockpit dot uh, socket okay hit enter okay we have we missed it should be s y s okay hit enter and you see when you see this is uh, is there but it's inactive that means cockpit is already installed uh, you need to just uh, start this service and you are good to go because i already did the installation so that's why so let's just i will show you what are the installation uh, process you for that what you can do is let me just clear this and uh, you can use yum install cock and it will show you what are the things nothing to do is already there perfect and it's showing you which version is installed here you can see this version is already installed and the good thing in CentOS 8 is you can use DNF so instead of uh, yum you can also use DNF and this will also works in CentOS 8 so that's a good thing okay now let's just go and start our service so at least we see something in our web browser to start you can come here and say start and hit enter and just check your status again so now we are checking the status and here it should show is active okay and it's listening now let's just go to our web browser and uh, refresh so IP address of your Linux machine and port is 1990 and you can see this CentOS and also it will ask you for the username and password and this will be the users you created there and uh, the password will be your password so this is like first look is fine let's just go and also it's showing you the, the server name because right now our server host name is localhost .local domain let me check again because i recently installed so yes i did not change just to check the host name you can type host name hit enter yes so our host name is this let's just go dive inside our web console web browser view of centos and uh, we will try to change this host name from web so let's just go and log in here 
So let me first log in with a normal user, which don't have any super user or root pri uh, privileges. So that is R Sharma and a password login. Perfect. I can you know, log in and I can see the resources first. What like how many CPU I have? What are the memory and swaps? Uh, operating system CentOS 8, Linux 8 core, and the system is up to date because I just just did the uh, update of my system. And uh, you can see like uh, CPU uses, full CPU uses, perfect, and uh, memory swap so this is basically the thing which we are seeing here inside our system monitor i'll show you here system monitor and go to resources so this part actually you no need to come inside the uh, any of the centos server you can actually see this all this kind of stuff from the web browser that's pretty cool uh here we have option to join domain but you can see is uh, the because uh, the user Sharma don't have permission so that's why I cannot we'll see this with the root user also but just like uh, look at the interface we have logs right now nothing showing there we can see the storage how many storage we have uh, since i put 30 gb here and uh, perfect all good networking it will show us uh, how many network interfaces we have right now and uh, that's fine accounts it's showing us like uh, how many accounts we have so this is my account and one root account and i cannot create the new one and uh, the one which i want to see more is this is the services which is uh, all the services currently running in the system and how many are inactive application diagnostic report we can create report if you want to see something kernel dump uh, c linux is uh, for security and uh, there is no software update at this moment because i just updated my system last check 32 minutes ago and terminal so this is one of the most important thing which i want personally because most of the time when i take uh, linux servers on uh, i want to do something on linux server either i have to go with ssh or i have to go with putty in windows and then i take uh, my terminals of my machine or going inside with remote is uh, is fine but still it's not convenient because most of the time we just need to execute some commands through terminals and we need root access so this is very good here what we can do is uh, we can just log in uh, using this ip address inside uh, uh, this url inside uh, any web browser uh, then you can actually have let's just see the root perfect now i can access the root here and i can see i can run all the commands which root can do so this is very convenient so that's perfect and let's just go and see the other user because later we need to change this to uh, let's just rename this host name to something else okay let me just first log out and uh, now i want to go with the root user so i will get more permissions there and root and the password for the root hit login and uh, here you can see uh, now this join domain option is also active and localhost is active let's just see and uh, here actually you can directly rename the host name which is very good I mean uh, usually to change the host name there are many other ways with that so for example I use uh, nm tui and here you can actually set system host name and you hit enter and you can rename from there but uh, let's just go and uh, rename host name from here so that will give us some idea about how it is work so send os 8 so CentOS 8 will be my host name and also I will change this to CentOS 8 both and its host name is change. Let's just go into terminal and uh, again go back to NMTUI system host name perfect it's already changed so that's very convenient feature most of the time when we set up the servers we need to do this these are very very basic thing but obviously it's very important to actually set up this is also very important when you want to join domain and this is pretty interesting where you can just add your active directory ip address uh, your computer name administrator name and password and with that you are able to join 
we'll see this in our other video like where how we can actually join the domain with CentOS. I already covered this topic in my previous video. So if you haven't checked, please go and check out on my channel. I already added uh, Active Directory and CentOS. Uh, there is a complete playlist for that. I will show you is that it's actually a lot of videos covered for for that particular series where you can actually see uh, how you can actually communicate. See the, all the Active Directory and uh, the CentOS and Active Directory series. So here you can find all those videos join CentOS and Red Hat from Active Directory so this these videos will help you in that but here this is also interesting so we'll I'll cover that part also uh, soon uh, power option so you can directly restart and shut down your server that's also a very convenient feature since we see this as a root so we have so many options here which we are seeing uh, we can see the logs also what are the things we have storage Another option is you can add the NFS mount here directly from there so you can add the server path and uh, if you have any file storage which is uh, sharing based on the network file system NFS Linux based system then you can actually use this that's very interesting uh, you can set it up some raid and uh, I will go jump in that features uh, in our future videos let's just quickly cover all the existing things and uh, most importantly the terminal that's very good that's very cool so yes this is it for this video and uh, this is the tool which is very important and very good currently if you see in their website uh, they are supported uh, red hat and centos as well as and these both are my favorite operating system but you can use it with ubuntu also and debian also other operating system is uh, not yet supported and even not yet tested so for CentOS and Red Hat guys just go ahead and use this very good uh, and very convenient and another good thing is actually you no need to depend on the, your PC you can actually take remote from your iPhone or your iPad or whatever tablet you are using you can just run this as long as you are in the same network you are able to access your CentOS server and uh, here is the end of this video and uh, i will see you in my coming videos with more interesting stuff and cool tips for you guys so if you haven't subscribed vfx pipeline channel please guys subscribe this will appreciate me to create more useful videos for you guys thank you very much i will see you in my next video